Hello all traders. In this video, we're going to break down some terms that often confuse traders, such as signals, patterns, setups, and strategies, and explain how they differ. We'll also discuss why having your own personalized and profitable trading strategy is crucial for achieving consistent success rather than only relying on signals, patterns, or setups. Think of a signal as a green light that tells you to go. There are the hints the market gives you, like when you start the car. Patterns are like the engine parts of the car, and they give you a bigger picture of how the market moves. And setups are your car ready to hit the road. They combine signals, patterns, and give you a good chance to make a successful trade. But the more important part is your strategy, which is the blueprint for your entire journey. It's not about just starting the car and hitting the gas. It's about knowing where you're going, how to get there safely, and what to do when the road gets rough. And unfortunately, due to a lot of misinformation on internet and social media, many traders think that by learning and relying on signals alone, or patterns, or even setups under certain backtested conditions, they can reach consistency and remain consistent for a long period of time under any market condition, but that is not true. And the major problem is whatever you see by influencers on social media, most of them are not in fact a strategy. They are mainly setups made of some entry signals and patterns, and you have to understand that strategy is just more than a setup, and you will see that the one-size-fits-all approach doesn't work and you need to have a trading plan that fits your personality and trading style perfectly and just like driving trading comes with many risks so you have to first understand and master the safe driving skills master your vehicle and know your instruments and software and the market you're trading and understand the true nature of trading and journey on this unpredictable road that constantly changing and apply proper risk management based on your level of skill and risk tolerance because you're hitting a very dangerous road with many twists and turns and by not mastering this personalized trading plan that incorporates all these elements you're gonna end up like other drivers here that never reach their goal of consistently making money in the market so let's talk about popular signals that are often claimed to be very profitable by just recognizing them on the chart and you see here some bullish signals that is claimed to be suitable to enter a long trade and as you see on this chart they are all failed because as you see the market pattern here is downtrend and the wrong signals were used for the downtrend market condition which leads to major losses that doesn't mean the entry signal is not good we're using that and discuss it in the advanced path and provide five different ways for final confirmation to enter a trade based on tick charts, a smaller time frames, trend line breakout, and the candlestick patterns, and also volume and order flow entries. But again, it's the last step of our entry, and before that, we have to make sure that the pattern and the setup is ready and mature to enter a trade in order to have a high win rate and chance of success. So about pattern trading and use them to enter a trade, you have seen probably a famous ABC pattern, which is also named 123 pattern, and it's claimed that if you find a bullish move, you can enter a long position at this point and put your stop loss here with the target above this area to successfully trade any market condition and as you see here this also often fails if the trader doesn't have a 360 view of the larger time frames and macro market conditions and is taking the trades when the momentum is lost and the trade is at the end of the trend and is likely reversing and the same here you see that is claimed to enter here when you have a downtrend move and have your stop loss above this resistance line and again you see that the market turn around and there are many reasons that the pattern alone doesn't work and is not a full complete setup and we in fact use kind of this pattern in our major trend following setup which is called setup t and it uses a higher time frame to make sure that the trend is not at the end of its move 
and close to the static or dynamic resistance line and we're taking the trade in the middle of the higher time frames and make sure the two charts are uptrend and aligned and this satisfies three conditions of the setup so this slide shows the decision making algorithm following setup key which is a trend following setup and the first two conditions make sure that the pattern of the structural higher time frame is trendy and the smaller trading chart is also trendy in the same direction and the price has completed its pullback and is in the right area with good risk to reward ratio and then it comes the entry signals that confirms the pullback is completed and the buyers are back for example in uptrend only under all these conditions that one need to master each part separately and combine it gradually to be able to execute it in a live market one can successfully identify this setup in trendy markets and take advantage of that but as mentioned earlier knowing a setup alone is not enough for success in trading and one has to turn it to a dynamic trendline trading strategy by considering several more factors and also personalize it with the help of an experienced coach to a trading plan that fits the trader experience traders personality traders patience and time frames and also the traders risk tolerance and for better understanding we will use setup key and go through all of this in details so about the macro market risks beside the two structural and trading charts that we use for setup key we have to look at the macro chart structure and condition and all these charts are usually three to ten times higher than the previous one and by looking at macro chart trendiness and also the area of static and dynamic support and resistance we can have a better understanding of the price location and behavior that institutionals and market makers make decision so if this is a macro chart here you can have a separate chart of macro chart as shown here with the structural and also the trading chart or you may have a smaller time frame and zoom it out if your software allow you to see a bigger picture of the major areas of price action behaviors so i use personally a one minute and ten minute structural and trading charts for setup key and use macro charts of 60 minutes and above to see reaction of the price and market decisions made by big players so by applying the macro chart pattern and conditions beside the two structural and trading chart of the setup key now we have a strategy that helps us to find a high quality setup key trends when the macro chart is in uptrend the structural is also in uptrend and the trading chart is also in uptrend and we consider this as a very low risk area and in terms of money and risk management we can trade them aggressively expect the runners so only two possibilities for very low risk area exist out of all these 27 possibilities and if these three charts are not aligned and for example you're trading a sideways macro chart pattern when the two structural and trading charts are uptrend or downtrend then your risk is slightly increased and you're not going to expect in this sideway market condition to have a runner you have to trade it more cautiously and if your macro chart is in uptrend and your structural and trading charts are going down and you're trading against the major trend your risk will increase significantly as you see here and in this case here so you have to manage your number of contracts and your exit strategy with that and trade with the smaller expectations and more aggressive risk management and you see under these conditions six out of 27 possibilities are tradable and that's reason if someone trades based on signals or patterns or setup alone will not be able to look at all these high risk areas and get stopped out which leads to inconsistent trading so with considering the macro charts and adding here we moved from setup t to setup t strategy that eliminated a lot of low quality trades and risks that could be imposed from the market makers at higher time frames with larger volumes and money and get us trapped in many unfavorable situations about the traders experience the macro chart also defines the risk of trades 
and we categorize traders based on their experience to novice, intermediate, and advanced traders and monitor their progress. And if the macro chart is in sideways, the novice trader should not trade at all. And if the macro chart is in uptrend or downtrend, the novice and intermediate trader is allowed to trade in the same direction of the macro chart uptrend or downtrend and only advanced traders are allowed to go against the macro chart major trend. About the trader's personality, time frames, risk tolerance, and many other variables, we have a comprehensive trading plan that during the coaching session, we define and customize it for the traders, and they have to learn and repeatedly practice to develop a good habits to follow before and during the market and complete their trading journals to be reviewed. And in case of setup T strategy, a suitable trader's personality is those that are rule followers and don't have warrior personality, and their selected time frames need to be customized in a way that they have enough signals so they don't get bored or miss any opportunities or overtrade. That depends on the mind processing speed of the trader and also a style of trading and also available time to focus for trading. And also in terms of risk tolerance, many novice traders are highly risk averse and this setup is suitable for them because it provides very high win rate and low account drawdown. So this setup is not suitable for risk seeking aggressive individuals. And when all these factors are incorporated into a trading plan, customized and suitable for traders, we see that a person with good personality and risk tolerance and proper time frame can successfully identify set up the opportunities that provides high win rate and low number of consecutive loss and also account drawdown. And that's the edge of this setup that fits many novice traders because of their personality and low risk tolerance. And we have shown earlier that how one can use this setup strategy to successfully pass prop firm challenges with high win rates and very high consistency and also very low account drawdown and all these rules are often challenging for traders and see often that they fail the prop firm accounts or get margin called when their equity hits the trailing drawdowns when they use improper setup and also money management. So I hope this video is useful for you to recognize the differences between signals, patterns, setups and strategies and also to understand that you need a personalized profitable trading strategy to reach your goal of consistency in trading. Thanks for your attention and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.